The road to the Final Four gets started in Indianapolis with an attractive first round game between the Oklahoma State Cowboys and the Michigan Wolverines. A 10 and a 7, a Big 12, Big 10 matchup. The winner of this one to face the winner of the Louisville Jacksonville State game, which will be second up here in Indianapolis. Welcome to Courtside. Hello, friends. Jim Nance with Grant Hill, Bill Raftery, Tracy Wilson. Oklahoma State's got a new vibe, new coach. Exciting team to watch. Michigan, we saw last week win the Big Ten tournament, go through the four wins in four days after that terrifying takeoff, aborted takeoff accident. It's going to be interesting to see what these teams have now as they get started on their NCAA tournament run. And Jim, Michigan is peaking at the right time of the season. They are as connected a group as there is in all of college basketball. Won 10 out of the last 12. They're going to need another stellar performance against a very talented Oklahoma State team. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you. And the Tampa of the Mariners to you. <laughs> <laughs> and the rest of the day to yourself. I'm the only Irishman not marching today, I think. Uh, but when you look at this Oklahoma State team, Juwan Evans is so special. I mean, terrific in the open floor, makes plays, takes big shots, makes free throws. He's the catalyst. He stirs it for Oklahoma State. Yeah, the Cowboys. Let's take a look at the first five for each side. Evans, you heard the studio talking about how dangerous he is. Forte, Carroll, Hammond, Solomon. There's Walton, the MOP of the big 10 tournament with after Rachman, Urban, Wilson and Wagner as well. Basically been the same five for Michigan all season long. And there he is, Brad Underwood. His uh, Stephen F. Austin team won a game last year in the tournament and then took Notre Dame down to the wire and hired in the offseason. He's going to be quite a presence for years to come. You can just see it in Stillwater. Here we go. Let's get it started here. First to four in Indianapolis. And it's controlled by the Cowboys. Jim Nance, Grant Hill. Right now, Michigan goes for a little. Middle. A lot of ball screens. Reverse the ball. Settle for threes on occasion. Over the top they go and went through the hands of Solomon, and it's over to Michigan. John Beeline in his 10th year, and with a win in the quarterfinals at the Big Ten tournament, he overtook Johnny Orr and became Michigan's winningest basketball coach of all time. Well, they are aggressive defensively. Generally, they stay at the three-point line. Urban, the three is short. And this is where Oklahoma State is so dangerous in transition. Michigan has to get back transition defensive. Against this kid, too. Jim Horton can really drill the deep one. Tough pass. Snagged that time by Solomon. Forte shut off. He'll come back outside. They do a great job going side to side. They've worked hard on this. Trying to make something happen with five on the shot clock. Evans, Walton on him, and he takes it away. Look at Walton with two Cowboys on him, and he's fouled on the way out. And I'll tell you what, Derek Walton continuing with his fantastic play, sliding his feet, making the extra effort, forcing the turnover, of course, getting out in transition, and as we said, just a continuation of, of how well he played last week in D.C. in the Big Ten Conference Tournament. Foul on Hammonds. Walton's made his last 22 free throw attempts. And these two little guys are going to go after one another. Step up. They've both read about the ability of the other. And first opportunity. Walton, terrific defensive stance. How do you think Michigan comes back after all the emotion of last week? You know, I, I think this team is locked in, Jim. They are so connected, as I said in the opening. They feel good. They're playing with a great spirit. And they look fresh. They look like they have the energy today uh, thus far. But this Oklahoma State team, high-powered offense, going to be a, a, a tough matchup for sure. I'm going trying to help out. I think got tagged with it. And what's been impressive with Michigan is their improved play on the defensive end. They really have made the commitment to get better. Combine that with their offense for a tough out. Ball went against Wagner, actually. Okay. And here's Carroll with the three. A pretty good execution there. Jeffrey Carroll, the junior out of Rowlett High School, just outside of Dallas. And Carroll's. I thought Mojo was on the floor the other week. Bang the, the boards. <laughs> A uh, little nickel dimer outside on Evans. And they're gonna take a look to see if that was in fact a three. 
And yeah, he stepped back. Beautifully done by Carroll, the second team All Big 12 performer. And I think Vondra's got to be an impact player for Michigan. Uh, drag the bigs away from the hole so they can run their cuts and screens and turnouts. And step and go. Irvin and Walton are the breakdown guys. But again, a mismatch. Just turn. Got the size advantage. Puts it up left hand. Second chance, yes, for Wagner. He's so skilled down there on the block. Wagner, not just a shooter, can do it all for the Wolverines. And a little show and recovery. Three off the mark for Hammonds. Wagner clears. And Hammonds can step out and make that shot. You got to cover him. Rachman, long with it. One hop out the wall. Snaps it inside to Wilson. Pretty good balance early here. This kid can break you down though. How Look about that? Evans go, but he didn't finish. Wilson snags it up ahead. Walton. He'll take the three. Well, that was actually a two attempt. Well, Wilson stopped running. He should have gone right to the rim. Could have helped. Nice pass. And they hit you deep on that shuffle cut. Forte tried to recover it, and it's last touch by Rachman. No change of possession, so 11 on the shot clock. Not loose early here, both teams, huh? <laughs> yeah. I think a little bit tight. Tournament nerves, mm -hmm. to be expected. Solomon sets a nice screen. Look at the range of this kid. Forte, Solomon inside, and contact from behind. And it's going to be a second foul on Wagner. And that's big right now for Oklahoma State. Wagner, so good, so talented, but Solomon is their best offensive rebounder for Oklahoma State and staying active on the glass. Mark Donnell comes in for Wagner. And because the ability to have a soft touch enabled Solomon, who has some wisdom in that category, gets to the rim. Hammonds. And he misses for a second time from the outside. And Walton sets it up here for the Wolverines. Having trouble getting organized early. Easy to quick, quick pass, quick cut. Trying to exploit the mismatch here. Walton on Solomon. There he goes. Had it taken out of his hands on the way in. And it's going back to the Cowboys. Watch live games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming devices with NCAA March Madness Live. Watch now at NCAA.com slash March Madness or download the app today. Like to see the guard taking people, huh? I like the guard when he has a matchup attacking the basket, but great recovery there by Solomon. Blocking Walton without fouling. Michigan one of seven from the field. Cowboys have hit one of their first five. That was the three by Carroll. Uh, Dillard on the floor, cuts well, athletic. Nice cut again. And Carroll had it taken out of his hands, trying to go up with it. Ava Rett's on the floor for the Cowboys. Well, they got Zero. A, got a mismatch in the corner, nice pump. Donnell, and he's fouled. Fouled by Dillard. And we reach our first break. Each team having a hard time hitting shots from the field. Time now for the Powerade sideline report from one proud University of Michigan alum, Tracy Wolfson. That is right, Jen. But the biggest question for the Michigan Wolverines coming into this game is have they recovered from the long emotional week? The plane accident you mentioned on Wednesday and then right into four games in four days. They didn't come back till 11 o'clock on Sunday. And then John Beeline made sure to give them some time off. Rest and recovery Monday, Tuesday, and then they went back to work. Speaking with the players, they said they have the energy. They are playing free right now. They're riding on the emotion. And Zach Irvin said, said it best when he said this could be one of the greatest stories ever told, Jim. No, no kidding. If they were able to put together a run in this tournament like they did in Washington. Donnell at the line, shooting two. And you know, Jim, I spoke to the team spokesman, Andrew Dockage. Uh, the, the, the official statement he was just saying maybe the best thing ever happened with the games we got right back into it and 
Uh, obviously the success and enriched by this play coming into the NCAA. Meanwhile, Oklahoma State lost in the quarterfinals to Iowa State in the Big 12 tournament. And they lost twice to the Cyclones in the last week of the season and put up quite a performance at Kansas only to come up just short. But they lost their last three games. They are well rested. It's a streaky season for them, which we'll get into a little bit deeper. But Walton and the Wolverines force a third takeaway here in the early going. Make that four. I think Michigan has to get into their sets, Bill. Their offense has been a little bit Herky, shaky here. Yes, to start the jerky, game. right? Good footwork. Rockman got around, pirouetted around Solomon for two. Well, that's valuable real estate. You got to protect it and you got to get in it. Averett swings it all the way over to Carroll. Well, they really can put the ball to deck two, Carroll. I like can shoot I like, it. I like that matchup, Carroll and Irvin. Their only points of the game. That three from Carroll over by the Michigan bench. There he is inside for two more. And that ends a four-minute scoreless stretch for the Cowboys. And they do a great job finding people late right under the rim. Very effective. And that was Averett who helped force that steal. And a foul call here on Donnell of the Wolverines. And this is where Oklahoma State is so dangerous in the open court. Carroll, one of the best finishers in all of college basketball, getting to the basketball. And Donnell trying to take a charge in this situation, but Carroll able to avoid and get to the free throw line. Carroll had a big jump in his point production this year from his sophomore to junior year. Increased his scoring average by over nine points a game. And Jim, he's had 12 games with 20 plus points and five plus rebounds, the most in the Big 12 this season. So you're right, his improvement is in large part why they are here in the tournament. They haven't seen that kind of improvement one season to the next in scoring from a Cowboy player since Bryant Reeves, big country, who is in attendance here today. His son is on the roster, Trey Reeves. Those are some great Oklahoma State teams. Byron in Houston. Oh, big time. Yeah. Great our, college player. Our old There's big country. There's a shot of him. And took the Cowboys to the 95 Final Four. The last time the Final Four was in the West in Seattle. Do you know how he got that name? Well, uh, Gans, Oklahoma, for starters. Well, supposedly, <laughs> he's flying to New York, and he looked down, There's and he sun. said, this is a big country. Oh, is that right? <laughs> That's a go. <laughs> Very astute observation. Yes. Back home again and runs the family ranch. Right now, mismatch inside Wilson. Rockman in the lane, off the front of the rim. I'm able to take advantage of mismatches. Evans flying through there, and a call against Michigan. Well, that final four in Seattle. This was in the Friday practice. Big Country shattered the backboard. Wow. Yep. Unbelievable. A wise entrepreneur would have taken advantage of that. <laughs> yeah, well, trust me, Billy Packer tried to. <laughs> he was on that floor just a short while later, scooping up all those shards of glass. Which uh, Bryant back at home still has a few of the remnants there. It is yeah. a keepsake. Really proud of his boy, though. Trey, who's a freshman on the team. A great tradition there when you think of it. There's his son looking on, rooting his team home here. Well, you think of Eddie Sutton, of course, and Henry Iba, yeah, oh yeah. the Olympic coach for a number of times. A foul was on Rockmont, his first. Evans gets that one to go. You mentioned Eddie Sutton. He's back home uh, watching in Tulsa. He just turned 81 a week ago. We sent our best wishes to uh, Coach Sutton, who took the Cowboys to the Final Four, not only in uh, 95 in Seattle, but 04 down in San Antonio. And he's revered, and rightfully so. There's that little turnout that led Back to Robinson does a great job fading. Pretty quick coverage. Walton. And underneath. And a call here against Oklahoma State. The Indiana teams are undefeated. Notre Dame, Butler, Purdue all winning on Thursday. Middle Tennessee with the victory over Minnesota. 
And 12 over a five. That's a common occurrence in the Wildcats, 4-0. Uh, got that nickname? Well, it was a good day for you. We got the Kentucky Wildcats, the fourth of four games on this floor here in Indianapolis today. And of course, Chris Collins, your buddy, did okay. I know you were, had a rooting interest last night. He did a fantastic job. Father Doug Collins showing a lot of excitement <laughs> and pride for his yes. son. A little switch to the 2-3. Interesting. Played great man-to-man -man early here. Got it this time, right over Lindy Waters who would come in. And Walton bailed him out on that play. Loving the activity of Oklahoma State defensively. Walton's too good, though. Look at Evans creating a shot. Time. Wow. Jimmy's unbelievable. He really maneuvers people, knows where everybody's located, finishes in the lane. Tough to contain. Xavier Simpson, a freshman out of Lima, Ohio. He's in the game number three for Michigan. And they can play small to counter Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State pressuring the ball, denying everything on the wings. Five to shoot. Simpson slipped, but they call a foul to the Cowboys here. And two of the best guards going at it. Walton from long range. Knocking it down, and then your guy right here, Evans, splitting the trap, getting into the paint. Said one of his favorite players was Chris Paul, obviously the great from Wake Forest, and uh, look, looking a lot like CP3 on that play right there from Evans. He's a talented kid. That whistle was on Solomon, who goes to the bench. Cameron McGriff in for him. Well, they really get after you still. Let's see. Still in the zone. But they might get out of it after Walton knocked that one down. Got to flash the foul line somehow. Get between the gaps. There, there you go. go. Urban, turn around. He was it. left open. They found that gap. That's his shot, no question about it. Even off the dribble, he's terrific at the elbows. Knocked down by Zach. Contact on the three. Robinson fouled Waters. So out of the break, three free throws coming up. Broke Oklahoma State coverage of the NCAA. Yeah, coverage of the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship continues after this message. In a word from your local station. Let's take a look behind the stats presented by LG. There you see the Cowboys, the highest scoring team in the Big 12, actually eighth nationally. Just a reminder, New Mexico State and Baylor is about to get started over on True TV. The Cowboys, uh, the streaky ways of their season. They, well, they go 0-6 to begin conference play, and all of a sudden they turn things around. They win 10 out of 11 games, and they made some tweaks defensively after they lost to Kansas State to go to 0-6. Great, great point. They used to stretch the knee, deny, get really good after you, trying to play back at the three-point line and contain. Uh, he was a master on the sideline with the, the defensive schemes. And what's been impressive is the character of these young men. You have a new coach coming in. You start your season off 0-6 in conference play, but they stuck together. They believed. They turned it around, and here they are in the tournament. He intimidated you a little. I mean, I would be intimidated yeah, as well, yeah. but you could play. <laughs> I could. Not he, anymore. <laughs> he is a strong-minded guy. He gets it done. The water hits all three. And Oklahoma State's hit his first seven from the line. Yeah, he's been fighting a foot injury all year, Waters. And it's interesting right now as Oklahoma State goes to a little three-quarter court pressure, but they have a smaller lineup defensively in the game. Michigan likes to play five around zero, play on the perimeter. So this matchup for them is, is not bad for the Cowboys. And no Wagner, so Wilson's the center. They do a great job stepping and going from that high post. This is a nice matchup, I think. Two guys can take you off the bounce, shoot outside. Urban. Look at Evans come down low and take that rebound. That is always up, sees things, creative. Can go either way, too. That's what I love about it. Nice little pocket to McGriff for two. Woo. Empty side, clever, and the delivery of the money.
Robinson. It's Wilson. Offensive glass. He gets rejected. Evans behind the back. Blocked by Walton. Hold on a whistle at the other end. I think somebody was out of bounds. Yeah, I'm thinking, yeah. <laughs> what a block. It's going to go to Oklahoma State by Derek Walton Jr. Appeared as Evans had turned the corner on him. Great recovery. He's serious, Walt. Uh, he wants to prove a point against one of the great guards, I think, in the country. And the crowd didn't like that. We well, really need help on ball screens with this guy. Same play. Jump shot. Rattles home for Dillard. Zillard, I think, is the edge guy. Uh, when Brad Underwood talks about him, he didn't play it all over Maui. Told him he's got to work hard. There's that mismatch you were talking about. They finally get it to work. Yeah, Wilson able to flip it in. Ends the seven-point run by the Cowboys. Forte's not getting the look. They know the reputation. They gave him the lane and he took it. So strong and explosive. How did he get that free with that body? You gotta recognize. Half the round. And it stays at this end. And on that previous possession, Bill. Wilson, as you said, taking advantage of the mismatch, so skilled and talented, just takes his time, no, no help coming, nice little hook shot. He's got to have a good first half here for Michigan, and then somehow some miscommunication on defense, and Dillard able to convert. Rock bond. Michigan shooting now under 30%. One man fast break. Evans to the trailer, McGriff. I think they got it the other way, Jim. Pretty yep. good defensive stance, bails you out. Now you've watched a lot of guards. This kid's pretty clever to open floor, isn't he? He is so good, so quick with the basketball, unselfish. You talk about some of the great point guards in the Big 12, Frank Mason the third, Monte Morris. He is right up there with those guys in terms of talent. And the Griff, one of those guys pick and pop three, rebounds. Nice job at the other end by Robinson drawing the charge. We have nine minutes to go here in the first half. Urban thought about it. Wants to challenge Solomon comes back out high. Five to shoot. Pretty good job by Solomon. <laughs> Going to go against Carroll. And a couple times Oklahoma State switched. They didn't go inside to Wilson. I, I think you have to exploit that mismatch when Oklahoma State switches. Instead of bailing out, shooting a long contested three-pointer like on that last play. Well, their defense is impressive. Well, they got one on one here. Yeah, that's the seventh team foul on Oklahoma State. First committed by Carroll. So it is one and one coming up for DJ Wilson. Who has certainly developed this season. Monday on CBS, the critics, well, they are. Really high on the new comedy, Superior Donuts. You can see it for yourself Monday at 9, 8 Central. Now, Wilson uh, redshirted his first year, Billy. Came off the bench last year, very limited time. Mm -hmm. But starting to really arrive now for this Michigan basketball team. What I love is his shot selection out of him. We just saw witness it. He's very clever. Plus, he can step outside. Evans. That's McGriff underneath. That's his game. Scratch and dig, and then they get back ready to go with a three-quarter court press. Well, they are well scouted right now. Michigan's not able to the normal sets. Good pass. Wilson. Jammed up, finds her there. Got it. 
Great, That's a three. Great patience on the kick out. A lot of guys would have gone up. Wilson found his partner. Rob Solomon goes back out with it. Forte going into the paint. Spins it in and one. This kid is so tough. Barrel chested. Unbelievable. You know he can shoot. So your closeout is demanded. How about the blow by? The little guy using the rim as well. Clever. Terrific finish. Cowboys are up six. They've held Michigan to 30% from the field. Carroll leading the Cowboys with seven. And of course, getting Carroll, their improved, versatile player involved. A little misdirection, stagger screen. Evans delivers. Carroll knocks it down. And the counter, because they do a great job using that high post. Uh, John Wooden, a little specialty. A little shuffle cut finish, and they don't mind throwing it under the glass. They stick with the play. Forte with a chance to complete a three-point play. Look who's back on the court. He's played only three minutes. Bogner with two fouls. He returns. All right, Tracy, over to you. Jim, you mentioned this Michigan team looks out of sync. Well, John Beeline, all he talked about in that last huddle was focus. He said, we have to focus right now. You know what you're doing, but your eyes are all over the place. And then defensively, he said, you can't let them hurry you up. Jim? Well, they've committed only one turnover versus five by the Cowboys, but every shot is contested. Nice slip. There's Wagner. That's the easiest bucket of the game so far for Michigan. And how often, guys, do you watch a guy has foul problems and you put him in the game, they don't go to him. A terrific little rub off the high post. Ali goes oh! to Carroll. Averett found him. And Solomon with the little brush. What a bang banger out of the gate. Look at the little rub by the big guy. And the rest, and that's Grand Hill territory. You can handle that one. <laughs> He is electrifying. He, he is. Room? This little three-quarter track just takes a little bit out of their rhythm, Michigan. And Wagner, they're a different team with Wagner out there. Got to get him engaged and involved like on that last play. Irvin inside the arc. It rattles out. Off the floor, Carroll with it. Ava Rett, stutter step move, and he powers right into Walton and is charged with it. And that's just experience right there. Mm -hmm. Derek Walton Jr., anticipation, understanding. Ava trying to get to the basket, sacrificing his body. And you know, we're going to have John Beeline look at that replay. He was focused. Did you see his eyes on he that? He was he focused. Was <laughs> Evans had a little breather. He's back on the floor for Oklahoma State. And they got the mismatch they want. They just can't get the ball over. Good cut to Wilson. <laughs> a rearrangement at the rim, too. To defy the defense. The big fella looming large. Evans, step back three. Solomon sets it back up again. Carroll says, I'll take it. Thought he could have swung it one more time. Forte off with this one. Too close. You might be right about that. And, and Michigan, when they switch, they still, they're, they're, they're not moving at all. They're just, they're, and, and they're getting out of their flow when Oklahoma State switches on defense. So they got to continue to execute through the switches. Rockman. Nice job by Walton. Yeah, he's got assists the last two trips down the floor. Pretty, Jim. Creating, finding his teammates. Four assists for the game. This is where you want to be patient. Take it. Until you get a good look. Michigan crowd has been awakened as Evans splits the defenders. Wilson got a piece of it, Jim. A nice block. How about the back cut here? Wow. Walton sets this one up, waves to his guy, a little step and go. The ball finds energy. Wilson with the great cut. And then Walton 
doing what he does best, penetrating and finding. Door Rockman knocking it down. Trying to get some life here, inject some life for the Wolverines. Well, they are patient. I know he passed it up for a second. Uh, so much for that. <laughs> that puts Michigan ahead by one with an eight-point run. And that's what you have to do against this little mini trap. You have to attack it. Urban did. Evans right back says, I'll get two. Oh, you see explosive speed personified. Zach doesn't pass up too many shots. He, really, <laughs> he reconsidered quickly at this end. Two more. He's got seven. He, like Walton, be close to that lane. Did do a lot of damage. There's a three. Got it. Dillard. What confidence, Jim. What swagger. Dillard yeah. knocking it down. He this. came out of high school with a three-point shooter. He came out of high school. It looked like he was maybe going to go to Indiana or Cal. That one time made a commitment to... Cal Berkeley, and here he is at Oak State, coming up with some valuable bench points. Walton, tough shot. Good defense by Solomon. And, and Oklahoma State, they trust switching Solomon on their, on their guards. But Irvin, wow. He thought about it. Yeah, I'll shoot it. I'll knock it down. Michigan down two. Oh. Too bad Rockman with that counter, huh? Tough when they get that lane area. Coverage of the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament is sponsored by Northwestern Mutual. Wendy's. And by GMC. First round coverage of the NCAA Division I Women's Basketball Championship begins today on ESPN2 and watch ESPN. For more information on game times and listings, go to NCAA.com. Things up. Uh, heating up a little bit here, fellas. Well, you know what I find interesting? Michigan's getting back in it individually. Not as much, although they had the one back cut. It's more the ability to take people or Urban in the spot up. No, without a doubt. And Michigan has multiple players who can play one-on-one. -on -one, but they're at their best when they score within their offense. Mm -hmm. See if they can get some rhythm here these last four minutes. Coach Beeline careful with... Wagner's minutes with the two fouls. He sits him back down with under four minutes to go. And that's from a guy who never played within the confines of an offense. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Evans. That speed. Oh, a block by Wilson. Oh, great presentation. Twice. Rockman. He's hit. Potential four point play. Great defense always leads to good offense. And from the weak side, Wilson coming over. A tremendous block. And then, of course, Abdur Rockman. He just hit two shots. He said, let me get to the corner and go for this four-point play. And how many times have we seen here Michigan players step up? Last week, D.J. Wilson had a big first half against Purdue. And Rockman is delivering here. He's got 11 points, Tracy. Brad Underwood during that last time out, imploring his team to get up and go. He said, said, we need to run. We need that tempo. He said, if you're tired, I'll take you out. But with all these timeouts, you should not be tired, Jim. And they're a double screen for Forte, and then a handoff. And now a little giveaway at the baseline. So the thing about Oklahoma State, they have shuttle in a lot of players. We've seen a lot of Dillard and McGriff already. Mm -hmm. Averett and and they get 26 points a game off their bench. As fouls on Donnell, his second. You sort of get the feeling Michigan on a mission of sorts. I mean, it, so much about destiny we always talk about. This team has just stepped up their play. Amazing. And Forte earns another one. Well, they had that hot streak even going into the tournament where they had only lost twice. So they've won 10 of their last 12 overall. The loss. The two losses in there, a loss against Purdue in overtime, and then, of course, the buzzer beater at Northwestern mm -hmm. by the Wildcats. 
Oh. So the team started the, their conference four and six. You know, they were looking like very iffy midseason. Similarities very on awesome. six for one. And of course that miraculous play by Northwestern oh. to beat them. And that's really not Purdue. It was at Minnesota they lost in overtime. Those were two big heartbreak losses for the Wolverines, but right, they got a collective spirit. Rockman with a little heat check. I don't think they can keep going as you mentioned. They gotta get back to running their offense. Evans bounce pass for Solomon. Defended by Wilson. <laughs> he he's playing he <laughs> a nice personality there. He thought it went off Solomon at the end, but this is just a beautiful little pocket pass, a little roll, but the counter in the back, once again, I think that's number three. And he was begging for an out of bounds. He made the right. Second block for Wilson. Nice play, a little double on the handoff. And it's on the floor. Walton's there with him. And a tie-up. It's going to go to Michigan. And that's uncharacteristic of Evans. A few times he's lost the ball and the ball slipped out of his hands. And pretty aggressive defense by Walton, too. I think that's part of it. Though. He, he, is, he is into it. He's read about how good this kid is. A little bit of a personal challenge. Love it. Well, we saw that last week in the Big Ten Conference against Mason. He went after Mason from Minnesota. Mm -hmm. And then Koenig as well against Wisconsin. But yeah, it looked like he just slipped out of his hands. I was more worried about the defender, maybe he didn't concentrate on the dribble. Meanwhile, Michigan has not committed a turnover in 12 minutes of action. And have one for the game. Here's Walton. But he does a great job. Oh, Bring your lunch. <laughs> Goodness. Wilson on the finish. Evans at the other side. Diller put back, yes. And that's what the speed, exactly what they want to do. Push them back on their heels. Quick hitters. The mantra of Oklahoma State. i tell you, the best offense for Michigan has been Walton penetrating and finding his teammates as Wilson picks up a foul. And he's been leaving his feet, too. Most coaches say, don't leave your feet. You may not find somebody. You'll turn it over, make a mistake. But when you got a find like Wilson, pretty special. <laughs> Second foul on Dillard. And that's the 10th team foul. Two shots coming up for Wilson. McGriff will return for the Cowboys. I bow to you on this one. Uh, as Walton left his feet, <laughs> found Wilson down low for the easy slam. Constantly turning the corner, having his eyes up, looking for his teammates. And of course, Wilson moving without the ball to the open spot. And Wilson now with 10 points, three rebounds, and a pair of blocks. Well, he has been a factor. Unbelievable, particularly on this end. Look at him talking, communicating. Once he helps here, Solomon with a tough angle, able to get it to go. Game tied at 38. Nice timing on the slip. This is what they did early in the year. This great denial. Make you start your offense out deep. Under 15. Danger. He loves the mismatches. Look at Wilson. Rebound on the floor. Tie up now is going to the Cowboys. With a minute and 15 to go. Coming up on AT&T at the half, scores and highlights, the latest NCAA tournament news. Coming up on AT&T at the half. Forte races to check in for Waters. I tell you, you're really playing four on four when you got Forte out there. Think about it. Seven lead changes, eight ties. And we're knotted at 38. Rockman's got a hug Forte because of his great deep ability. And that gives this guy room to really do a nice job. Solomon, unfortunately, couldn't come up with it. <laughs> Trying to hit Wilson. That was a nice backcourt play, just unable to deliver there, but you gotta love Wilson's activity here early. 
Coach Underwood wants to take a timeout here. Set up this next Cowboys possession. The last minute of the first half. This is Adam Zucker with a tournament update over on True TV. Baylor trying to avoid getting bounced in the first round for the third straight year. They were down early, but this part of a 13 to 2 run. Terry Maston burying the shot. They're up by one on New Mexico State. As we go back to Jim Bill, Grant, and Tracy. Adam, thank you. The winner of that game takes on the winner of SMU and the USC Trojans, who won the game Wednesday in Dayton to advance to Tulsa. So here we go. Bench scoring, by the way, in this game, decisively in favor of the Cowboys. 16 to 1. Oh, wow. See if the Cowboys go for a two for one here. Maybe a quick hitter. Everything he does is quick. And it circles. Circles the wagon. Yeah, you sure Where's Steve done. Nash when you need him? <laughs> one more time. <laughs> the semi-circle that time for two. <laughs> two for a dollar. That's unbelievable. I <laughs> uh, see a couple of the guys from Michigan are dizzy right now. No kidding. Trying to keep up with it. Walton's going to run this down. Rebounding is the key for both. Anticipate the shot if you're on offense. Make sure you check out on the D. Here's Walton with three to shoot. Solomon's on him. And there's uh, contact with one second on the shot clock. What a killer. And, and, and Solomon did a decent job of sliding his feet, staying in front of Walton. He, just, not, he should have been this close, though, do you think? Yeah, no. I mean, with and, that size difference? And there's no need to go for the ball fake. You're 6'10". Yeah. Just keep your hands up and make him make a tough shot. And he's beyond the arc, so he's going to get three. Ooh, and he's an engineering student, too. <laughs> I don't know angles and distance. <laughs> Boy, that is a killer late. It's the guy you want to have the ball in your hands for Michigan at the end of the shot clock. And then conversely, you don't want to let Evans get the ball here on the inbounds because he can get down to the court in three seconds. They bring in Waters for a possible outside shot. And this free throw for the lead. Got them all. Simpson comes in for Michigan, replacing Donnell. Smart substitution by Beeline. Get your defense set up against Evans' ability to get down the court. Yeah, they're going to try and trap him. I would, too. Here's Evans. Like I say, Bill, he can get there in a hurry. Takes the three, and it's off the mark. Michigan leads at the intermission, 41-40. Cowboys had a lead at 27 20. That was their biggest lead of seven. Wolverines with the close, though. That foul call against Solomon setting up the three free throws for the lead. And uh, Coach Beeline is standing by with Tracy. Coach, they had you out of sync offensively, especially early on. How did you have to adjust? Well, they, when they came out, they really pressured us hard, tried to force us out of some things. And then they threw that little uh, soft press at us. And we, we sort of, we didn't play with the timing and uh, sort of the downhill attitude we wanted at that time. We still got 41 somehow, but uh, uh, they're a load to guard now. That's the bigger problem. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot, Thanks. Jim. Michigan 41, Oklahoma State 40. The end of the first half. McGriff giving them some good minutes along with Dillard off the bench. Michigan led by Rockmans 11, 10 by Wilson and Irvin. We'll send you to AT&T at the half after this message and a word from your local station. of the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament is sponsored by Quicken Loans, Subway Restaurants, LG, and by Bud Light. Back here in Indianapolis, Michigan leads it as we get set now for the second half, 
Wolverines, Jim Nance with Grant Hill, Bill Raftery and Tracy Wolfson. This matchup between these two point guards, it's been electrifying so far. It's been fantastic, yeah. Jim. Derek Walton Jr. from Michigan. His, his leadership, his energy has been on display. Not doing it with the scoring, but defensively creating turnovers, getting steals, sacrificing his body, and of course, getting to the basket. This is one of his six assists thus far for Michigan in the first half. Well, I'm going to counter you at the other end. The ability to get in the lane by Juwan Evans is just something short of sensational. But have you ever played Ring Around the Rosie? <laughs> That's what you're going to play right now. He's got heads spinning, turning. Come get me if you can. The blow by. That's amazing. <laughs> Stretch and finish. <laughs> Uh, Tracy, what did you hear from the Cowboys at halftime? Well, Jim, Brad Underwood wants to see his team play a little faster. He wants them to do a better job on the offensive glass and cut down on the turnovers. Eight turnovers in the first half, four of them by Juwan Evans. He said we could live with those mistakes. He'll be fine in the second half, Jim. Yeah, here to, to see the first half numbers. Uh, the Wolverines were able to get that field goal percentage up a little bit. They were in the high 20s for a good part of that half. Finish at 42 percent. Bench points. Cowboys 16 to 1. And that's been the difference. That's why the Cowboys are in the game. Their bench has bailed them out. Evans hasn't been so efficient thus far here in this first half. And a nice little trap out of the halftime. Rockman to Bachner, who played limited minutes with two early fouls. Lost it on the floor. Still a mad scramble for it. He can shoot it. He's going to take it. And the rebound to Evans. Nice bump by Solomon. How about that kid? He uses it under control. Get squared up. Get the puppies organized. Not only attractive going to the rim, he can make the deep one. Evans now with 10 points. Wagner for the Wolverines played only six minutes in that first half. There's that little turnout they like and fade. Walt left open. And great job by Walton as Rockmon penetrated, flaring to the corner, moving without the basketball, knock, knocking it down from three. There's a little dribble. Nice little, little boy with a well scattered Rockmon on top of it. Carroll lost it on the drive. He's going to stay with the Cowboys with 11 to shoot. And it was all made by Rockman driving middle. And, of course, Walton drifts to the to the sideline there and able to knock down a, an open three-point shot. But once again now, Michigan making plays for each other. First half, Walt, Walt, uh, Walton was doing it for his teammates. And, and, and on that play, he was the receiving end as a, for a jump shot. Slashing through and going back out with it. Okay, left alone. He's got it. Now they need some guys to light up. He's one of them. He showed you he can make a, a mid-range shot, Coach. <laughs> a little confusing there on the scouting <laughs> report. <laughs> he thought he was too close. Exactly. What a gamer that kid is. Great attitude. Of course, his dad was a football player, right, Jim, in Kansas? Yeah, the family was some great history there. This kid, as the pass comes inside to Irvin, swept away there by Hammonds. Forte, he'll make 600 threes a day. There's one more. There's, There's one that <laughs> spins out when well, it's halfway down. Now he got shorted. Great luck. Rockland's done a nice job getting in the lane, too, to compliment Walton. Pretty good D by Solomon. Wilson turns this away and hits the shot. Big time. Big time talent right there. Wow. Yeah. How about that? On the move left, poised to deliver. Forte, three, yes. There he is, he can get going. Yes, he can. And you've got to hug him with the dribble, too. Yeah, he'll make 300 threes before practice and 300 after. You asked him who keeps count, the he manager? Said, he said, I do. <laughs> What's the, I said, goodness, I can count my misses. <laughs> <laughs> nice cross. Look at his hand some ball up. skills here. And off on the shot, all Oklahoma State underneath. Oklahoma State picking up the pace. Walton reaching around and knocking it out. Well, we've talked a lot about the ability to dribble in circles. How about this one? 
spin around. No Cupid doll, uh, but that kid has one of the great strokes and just avoids a little bump, gets poised, and just perfect execution, right? Yeah, the delivery. And Raft, I've watched a lot of basketball, college basketball this year. He might be the best long-range shooter in the game right now. Mm -hmm. On display here, well, the second half. Well, you turned on Kennard fast, man. Right? <laughs> hey, trying to start stuff here. Oh, this is a nice little setup, I think, for Forte to get a look if they kick it. Evans, not the roll. And Wilson gave up trailing Forte. Cowboys up three. much on offense, but he's got a tough out here, Garden Wilson. Bachmann driving on Solomon. Oh. In the possible angle. Off the floor with a forte. Cowboys push it up the court. Find an open Carroll. Three-point shot, yes! Woo. How about that delivery? Forte right on the money. And this is the Cowboys' pace right here, but... Timeout, Michigan. Cowboys hitting some shots from the outside. They come storming out here in the second half. And this is where the Cowboys thrive in transition. They run to the three-point line. Forte, great vision, finding a wide-open Carroll. He knocks down the three-point shot. And of course, the bench excited. This is how they play basketball. Blair Underwood implored his teammates, excuse me, his players at halftime to get out, have pace, get in the open court, and they're doing that. They've scored the last eight points and hit five of the first six shots here in the second half. You know what I like most? Forte regaling after making the pass. <laughs> I mean, he's such a winner, that kid. Wolverines timeout. They set up this play for Rockmont. And well, they, with his seventh assist. And they just picked it apart. A little mix up defensively. Trying to press in three quarter. Solomon. And that one rolls around and in. And Rip getting some action. <laughs> once again, they extend the floor. It's a little man, and once in a while, they run a trap out of it. We can elevate here over Avery. Walton. Pretty. And that was identical to the play before. Exactly. Exactly. Dribble penetration, Walton sliding, knocking it down. Well, they can't run their stuff, so they're going to have to rely on individual ability right now. Hammonds has really not done much on offense. Can make the three as well. Solomon inside, and they've hit their last five shots. And, and the weak side for Michigan defensively has to get in there to help on that roll. Solomon continues to get to the basket with these. Well, give him the ball. Rockman back out with it to Walton. To Urban. For three. Uh, pretty patient. Wilson doesn't get back, and nobody helps him out. He gets an intentional. Hammonds with the basket. Well, his teammates did nothing to help him. He had the longest distance to run, and nobody collaborated. The Cowboys getting out in transition. In control. Up four. Watching the big dance calls for big refreshment. So grab a delicious ice cold Coca-Cola and enjoy the game. Coca-Cola tastes the feeling. What are you guys feeling right now here at the 14 minute mark? Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit for Michigan. They are really struggling, I think, on the offensive end. And, and that is uncharacteristic, that open floor layup without guys playing the man until Wilson gets back and then you exchange. So that's not typical. And Oklahoma State, they have found their rhythm, but they're only up four points. So Michigan is not that much separation right now. 
Michigan is get back in the game if they trust their offense. Full court pressure coming up here from the Cowboys as Hammonds completes the three point play. They brought Averitt and Dillard onto the floor here, Oklahoma State. They're benched six for six from the field in this game. And Jimmy, they're 11 for 11 from the free throw line. I mean, that's pretty impressive as well. Good front by Carroll. Rockman. He knocks down a three. Did they need that? And so, so many times off of dribble penetration, Michigan's been able to knock down three pointers. Oklahoma State's got to do a better job containing defense. Rockman with 16. He's tied a season high. And he makes the steal as he was able to shield Hammonds from the lob. And just a great recognition, Jim. Terrific defense. Rockman. This match inside Wagner. They don't look. Wagner with a huge height advantage over Averett. And there he's fouled on the way up. Took a, off while. The Took a while, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and that has happened a few times when Michigan's had mismatches. Unable to take advantage of it, but right there, Wagner, he should have finished that. Absolutely, but Carroll even may have thrown them off a little bit. They are so active defensively. The big fella's got to step up. The CBS Sports app is your app for the tournament. Follow your bracket, watch highlights, get instant team and upset alerts. Download the CBS Sports app now to experience every moment of the action. Wagner, who didn't start once a season ago, this season started every game. He has a real, real upside, this kick, is his ability to handle the ball face up. Evans back in for the Cowboys, controlling here. As the game is tied at 59. Nice pass. Rips it inside to Hammonds. Oh boy, that's just faulty defense. A double screen out high. Nobody paid attention on the weak side. And once again, Evans prevails. Nice cut. Yeah, not a good look with that left. Wagner. Irvin back out with it. Walt gonna take it. He gets it. And that's their game right now. Dribble drive, kick. Very simple. Great adjustment by John Beeline. They've taken him out of their characteristic sets. That's the 14th lead change of this game. And this is where Michigan has to figure it out on the defensive end. And Underneath, Hammonds squeezes it back outside. Here's Diller. He didn't miss in that first half, and he's fouled on the way up. Talk about Wagner and his skill set. But on the other end, what a pass by Evans finding inside. And then Walton knocking it down from out uh, outside. Drive and kick has been really the path to success here in, in, in the game for Michigan. And it looks like Dillard had a little... A little, scra a little scrape on the face there. But he has played big, the young man, freshman. Getting some big shots. Well, he's played well in a number of games. Kansas, he played well, eight and six. West Virginia, played well. Not, they've not, they've not, been in some tough moments. Yeah, not scared of the moment. Robinson from Michigan takes Wagner's place. Solomon to the floor for the Cowboys. Dillard back home again in Indiana. He's from Gary. Wow. It sounds like a song. Yeah, it does. I've heard it maybe before a race or something. I don't know. <laughs> Tap back outside Walt. And another tie game. First missed free throw of the afternoon for the Cowboys. A little stretch D here with Robinson on the floor now. Not going side to side. A little down screen like a little Merck is play now. Look at the hustle. There's the Robinson. Oh, all right, that one too mm. was so close to dropping. Forte. Oh, this guy's tough. This is a little bit of a Mitch. Look Ooh. at this dance. <laughs> Off the glass for two. Oh, pick up the lingerie. Wow. The yo yo. Bring him to you and then blow by with a little kiss at the end. They don't mind of 
the switch and this cost him. Well, well, automatic sir. switch and finally took advantage. Great recognition by Michigan. Dillard, three. Walk. Scramble for the rebound. We're gonna get the foul on Wall. It is on Wall. We'll continue from Indianapolis after this message and a word from your local station. This is Adam Zucker in New York with a tournament update. Second half underway on True TV. Baylor trying to avoid being bounced in the first round again. Ish Wainwright with the follow-up dunk to tie things up against New Mexico State as we go back to Jim, Bill, Grant, and Tracy. Well, thank you, Adam. The Big 12 has not lost to this point in the tournament. We got Baylor in a tight one against the Aggies of New Mexico State. And how about Oklahoma State and Michigan tied in this one at 64. We uh, just keep going back and forth. We've had the game tied 12 occasions. 15 lead changes. Look at the second half. 77% for the Cowboys. We inbounded here to Forte. Get the switch they want now. This is where he will do business. Look at this kid, Evans. And Walt able to come out with it. And Michigan is slowly handling in early offense here. How about that? Robinson, you got to get out on the big guy. Stretch it. The pride of Newcastle, New Hampshire, hits the three. First bench point of first actually field goal from the Michigan bench in this game. A great recognition of him too. You've got to know as a defender, he's a stretch guy. Solid great pass. To Dillard. Blocked by Wilson. His third of the game. What an influence he has been. And Michigan's been able to take advantage of mismatches on the automatic switches. And a mismatch inside. It was a little more regularity. Wilson's got to go big for it. I know Michigan doesn't post up a lot, but inside he has Evans on him. <laughs> He'll just wave it. <laughs> there you go. Throw it to him high. Walton. Wow. All met. So much for your NBA experience. <laughs> And as Michigan gets back into the game here and takes the lead, so much focus here on side of the mismatch. And Walton says, you know what? I'm a mismatch. <laughs> Give me the ball. Knocking it down from downtown. Michigan has hit seven out of nine from three in this half. From four different players. Wow. Who was that? Uh, Carroll has not been able to get free either. Zach Irvin's done a great job on him. It's all about Evans and occasionally a dribble drive. Evans puts it shot. up on the rim. Solomon Tacno off the floor with it. Hammonds gives it up to Evans. And all about Solomon, too. He's the one that kept that baby alive. Big fella using that belly bump. Control the game a little bit. Pace. Urban off with that one. And Carroll. Nice job by Carroll, too. With Robinson there. Pushing it up the floor to Forte. Back out of the paint with it. Under eight to go. So they put pressure on you with the bounce. The two little guys. They scream Solomon roll. And they go the other way. On Solomon. His third. A little buddy ball inside. Hammonds finds Evans. Michigan up four.
Look at the shooting in the second half for each side. And Michigan, so much of that coming from three-point land. And for Oklahoma State, it's been screen and roll, getting to the basket. Evans finding guys. The weak side has not been great at adjusting and closing down the lane. Solomon's had some easy layups, opportunities, and of course here, once again, poor rotation defensively. Defending the pick and roll has been a challenge. Now they do a better job here. Derek Walton, who's done everything for the Wolverines, steps in, sacrifices his body, takes a charge, and now Solomon picks up another foul. That rotation has to be there for Michigan down the stretch. And that's his third. As Walton, as you said, doing a little bit of everything, 19 points and nine assists. You know, I've had texts from your teammates in your college days. That they said, what is he doing talking about defense? Oh, we played a little D back then, you know. Nice screen and then the kickback. Wilson three. That's a big one. What a call out of the timeout. How about confidence? And your big guy Wilson delivered. Wilson with 17. Look at that split. Okay. Pretty touch. And Rockman has done a decent job of running him off the three-point line. Was Forte able to put the ball on the floor? Sean is his mid range game then, huh? He sure has been forced to. <laughs> He's got some rotation on his shot. He's an excellent technique. There's that cover in the back you just alluded to. Yep. Challenge. Uh -huh. Picks him. This is, you know, Jim, you just said the right word. This is a challenge of him playing. Evans, you knew this kid was going to step up. He's got big time ticker. Foul call here on Walton, his third, coming in April. A tradition unlike any other. The Masters on CBS from Augusta National. They've got their own rich golf tradition at Oklahoma State, that's for sure. Their AD, Mike Holder, was a legendary coach there. And my neighbor is Charles Howell III. There you go. Yeah. Ricky Fowler. They've got uh, a couple of their old uh, Cowboy All-American legends here, Lindy Miller and David Edwards. In attendance, there's Carroll slashing in for two. Wow, that's the explosive guy that we saw on tape, huh? We need to see more of that from no, Oklahoma absolutely. State. Absolutely. Uh, really stepping the defense out higher. Need some activity to get the mismatches. Gets tied up while driving in. Jump ball. And the arrow goes to the Cowboys. And you talk about explosiveness. Carroll just getting to the basket. Eh, might have taken another step or two, but a little Euro step, as they say. <laughs> but a nice, think, nice screen by the center, too, to give him that hole. I think Carroll's got to get more involved. He's only had six shots here. Mm -hmm. Evans, tough shot. Last around, last touch by Irvin. And, and Solomon Jim just screens and rescreens, and he gets active on the offensive glass. A vital contributor. He can make that shot too, but he doesn't have any opportunities. And the brush to get a bump. To make them. Hammonds, yes. Nice step back. What a dribble. Really got the attention of defense, didn't it? Hammonds has had a pair of games where he's hit five threes. He's got eight points for the game, all coming in the second half. Here's Robinson. Hit one. The four. He's got another one. How about that use of the bump? Wilson contributed in a Terrific fashion. He's responded well since Evans left him defensively. That one time he's hit two threes. Evans over Robinson. Tap no. Underneath Hammonds. Before I think. Once again, your guy Solomon keeping it alive, but on that last shot.
Robinson just faked the flare and came back to the ball. Great read. And of course, Duncan Robinson, 71% of his attempts at Michigan have been three-pointers. And he knocks it down. He's a competent stroker. Wow. Williams lost a great player. They are now 10 out of 14 in the second half from three. And here is an All-State Mayhem alert. Look at all of these different swings in the game. Michigan over to go, led by eight. Cowboys trying to trim a six-point deficit. Carroll to the line for two. And they do a great job on that handoff on the out-of-bounds. Double screen, and Carroll can go to his left in a magnificent fashion. Nice hang time, showing some strength in the lane. Matt Underwood, in his first year, after spending the three previous seasons at Stephen F. Austin, where he went 89 and 14 in three years, all three years, the Southland Conference Coach of the Year, had two NCAA tournament wins in his time there. And of course, the coach he matched was Brad Stevens from right here at Butler in those early days. Played for Jack Hartman. It was interesting to hear Jim talk about his affection for the late, great Jack Hartman. And Jack Hartman played for Henry Ivor. Mm -hmm. So the lineage continues. It all comes full circle. Yeah. He showed up at Kansas State. Bill Self was one of the players on the team, hosted on his recruiting trip. Wow. And Bill <laughs> said he wasn't that good. Yeah. He's glad to see him come in. Yeah. <laughs> I get well, I get one seat closer to the coach on the bench. Oh. Here's a nice Giving ball. it up to Wilson. And off the rim. That's one of those you wish he had finished with a plow. Evans. What a quick two, and it's down to two. Oh, my goodness. That kid can get up and down. Unbelievable. Can't just contain him. He's got 18 for the game. Well, that miss was a big one. A four-point swing in a matter of seconds. Well, you can't take a deep breath with Evans on the floor. <laughs> Tough shot. Oh, that's another three. He just gave Carroll a little look. You know, what he was where he couldn't guard him any better. Well, look at that. He can oh, shoot he it can from, shoot there. from there. <laughs> Don't give him that. The two. You got to stay with him. And that's one. Couple of tired guys out there right now. Look at the Wilson holding his side. Just an incredible second half shooting performance by Michigan. 11 out of 15 from three. This is where Got three is. to shoot. Walton. Not this time. Evans off the long rebound. Oh, Forte. Oh! Uh, push. Evans. Well, you want to take a deep breath. The ability of Irvin with great defense on him, Carroll, uh, not able to negate a little nylon by Zach. Enjoying the stroke. Backstage, the Jacksonville State Gamecocks, the Ohio Valley Conference Tournament champions, arriving. They'll be facing Louisville. There's Donovan Mitchell. And the Cardinals, the two seed in the Midwest bracket. You know, being St. Patrick's Day, you think they're listening to Danny Boy, or what do you think? No. <laughs> I saw you coming in with your beats today. What were you listening to? <laughs> I was in my own world. Okay. <laughs> was that any different than any time else? No, no, it's no exception. Here we go with Michigan. When you talk about Michigan shooting in the second half. Three for seven on two pointers, 11 for 15 on the three point shot. The depth is amazing. It is amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, Obama State has really guarded well on some of those shots. Using clock. Switch off now to Robinson. He's hit two big ones. How about this? Block by Hammonds. Big time. Cowboys needed a stop. They got it. Up ahead they go to Carroll. Slashes in. Fire! Solomon. There's that guy, Solomon, staying on the offensive glass. Well, you, know, you would expect a wise move by Solomon. They're running the floor, and Carroll, once again, explosive getting to the rim. Drag the D. 
Two minutes, two minutes, and it's been a terrific start to a four-game set here in Indianapolis. Perfect. Is that match he wants? The five on the shot clock. That's a two. Oh, boy. How about this kid? It's been a game where you've got to break down the opponent, and they have done a magnificent job, Michigan. Evans had it taken out of his hand as he was trying to feed Carroll in the corner. The most legendary players in Survivor history are out to change the game again on a new Survivor. Wednesday, 8, 7 Central, only CBS. 133 to play. In that quick hit area now. Rockman, I guess, trying to get around, huh? It's going to be a one and one. That's exactly what the Cowboys want. Stop the clock. Execute, make these free throws, but they got to do it on the defensive end. But if they do it on the defensive end, what would you run at the other end? I mean, I'm thinking maybe just a ball screen with the little guy on an empty side. I agree. Either that or in the middle, a quick hitting ball screen as you have Evans going downhill, getting into the paint, making stuff happen. Mm -hmm. We're going to check something out. They'll try to make sure they've got the right shooter. I thought the shooter was Evans there, right? He was mm -hmm. coming off of the screen. Or maybe Solomon. And maybe he ran into the screener. I think you're right. Rockman might have been trying to get through the screen. And uh, yeah, you're right, though. They're going with Evans. They're going with Evans. They run some great stuff on the inbounds. Yeah, either way, I think he held on prior to the bang on the big guy. 81%. On the season, one and one. Oh, he had hit 37 of his last 39 attempts. And I'm proud of you. You let him do it on his own. <laughs> and we'll give away. Exactly. <laughs> Aren't we all tired of being accused of the announcer's chase? <laughs> I got to give a couple more to get into yeah. that one on one, and that's it's just the fourth team foul. Yeah, the dilemma. So Dillard takes the floor for Solomon. Try and keep it out of Walton's hands. That's the smart thing. I double. There you go. No rotation. Now you got to play it out again. Now under 10. And a minute on the game clock. Well, look at the strength of this kid. Woo! What a ticker. He has put this team on his back since the Big Ten tournament. Uh, I mentioned earlier in the game, maybe they're on a mission. He's the missionary. Michigan with the ball. We're having some audio issues right now. Jim, Grant, and Raph will be back as soon as they fix it. Oklahoma State down five. 38 seconds to play. Walton with the ball. And 
final timeout was called. We're headed to commercial. We'll be back right after this. Eighty-six, eighty-one, Michigan. We've taken a little power hit here courtside, but we're back with 33 seconds remaining coming out of a Michigan timeout. Tough angle for the Wolverines to inbound. Herbin to inbound. Looking for help. Gets it to Wilson. He's fouled by Dillard. Got to be careful in terms of an intentional foul. Pretty good cut by Wilson to bail him out. Yeah, without a doubt here, Michigan just had to execute. Oklahoma State try to get a hard trap, maybe a steal off the inbounds pass. And that was the sixth team foul on Oklahoma State. Tapped out by Evans. They can look at it because two people were involved. They're going to check the monitor. And that was a dangerous pass there by Irvin. You can't casually throw the ball out here. And of course, all players from Michigan in this type of situation, you have to come meet the pass. You can't have a turnover. Pretty close, really. Uh, uh, Evans may have gone on the follow through. Yeah, I agree. But I like Walton. He has to come meet the pass in that situation. Wow. It's close. They got to go with the original call if they can't make their mind up. And the original call was Michigan ball. How about the threes they made under duress to get this little bit of control? And you said duress because those were contested shots, most of them. But I tell you what, I always say good offense trumps good defense. And Michigan's offense here in the second half has been tremendous. They're going to stay with the original call. It'll be Michigan to inbound with Irvin again. Uh, you were saying, watch this step and go the other end. Robinson, who slipped for a moment, and he's hacked by Hammonds. That'll be a one and one. 82% free throw shooter. We've seen him make some big shots, and usually from deep. And that's the challenge with Michigan. Everyone can shoot free throws. A very good free throw shooting team. And of course, Duncan Robinson is more than capable of knocking these down. And what's interesting now, Jim, is Michigan doesn't put anybody on the free throw line. The only difficulty with that, John Cheney used to do this quite a bit, is you give them an opportunity to speed dribble. Uh, maybe you could just negate it a little if you had some people. Up. And now they're moving to the top of the key. One and one. And that gives Oklahoma State life. It's Evans. Will take him long to take it to the hole. Shot is partially blocked. I think Rockman got a hand on it. And a foul against Oklahoma State. And that's been indicative of the night for Evans. A great player. He's been 8 for 23. Getting to the basket. He's had multiple chances there. Rockman not fouling, but that was a layup that he probably should have had. And uh, unfortunately, he's had a lot of those where it just came up a little short here this evening. So right back to the line for a one and one is Robinson. A nice job okay. rebounding. Make up for his missed free throw. At this time, they almost apologize when they miss a free throw. He turned, <laughs> he turned around the wall and said, "My bad." That was big. Makes it a seven-point margin, and a smart substitution by Michigan. Stop the momentum. Get your defense to set up. Not let Evans get a full, full head of steam down the court. Evans to the trailer to Carroll. Banks it home with 18 seconds to go to give him a chance. Uh, how about that? No give up. A little smooch. <laughs> Big time kiss. 18 seconds remaining and a four point lead for Michigan. The Wolverines to inbound. Oklahoma State, no timeouts. Michigan won. 
Uh, you look for fronting the ball. So they're going to go big on the on the inbounder as well. Uh, the one guy you want to get the ball to is Walton. So I would double him if, if possible. Nothing like calling the last 18 seconds on one handheld microphone. We're all huddled in here tight to see if anything happens here. With Oklahoma State trying to desperately get possession and another foul. And it looked like maybe Robinson might have walked on that play. Certainly un Brad Underwood felt that way, but. This is uh, teamwork down the stretch here, guys. I, I feel like one of the temptations here. <laughs> I feel like I'm back in college. I, I think we're going to use some Listerine later. <laughs> Wow. You never know what's going to pop up as far as a hurdle on the road to the final four. Now Robinson. It is the one and one. And it rolls out. Evans looks behind him then takes it to the hole. Follow up. Yes. And it's down to two with ten seconds. And a foul on. Hammond's fouling Walton. What a quick, not only goal, but reaction by Hammonds, but the ability to get to the rim. And of course, anytime you dribble drive, it drags people. All of a sudden, it bears the backboard and in the right spot. And they are not going away. That was Dillard with the follow up. Dillard with the basket to bring it to 88 86. Hammonds has just fouled out. And Hammonds has had a great game here. Uh, tough loss, but it, right now it gives Underwood a chance to really try to get into some sort of set off of this free throw. You assume Walton, who's a great free throw shooter, will make these two. But with Evans, you can get down the court, as you saw in that last play, and get a quick basket. You don't need a three in this situation for Oklahoma State. And as a shooter, a free throw shooter, do you like this delay? Think about it. Walton's had to wait. They had a free timeout for Oklahoma State. 87% on the season. Having hit 26 of his last 27. He's got two. <laughs> Kathy Beeline. Looking up and doing all the calculations. There's one guy on the line in this moment for Michigan. What a clutch guy. You're right. This guy's got some ticker. Got them both. And again, the Cowboys are out of timeouts. They're going to have to push it ahead. Can't stop the clock after a make to set up anything defensively in a pressure. Here comes Evans. He races in and scores with 4.4 to go. Inbound to Wilson. Fouled with 3.7 seconds remaining. How sensational is Evans? I mean, the foot speed, the ability with the dribble to get to the decimate the defense. This might be a guy, though, that Coach Underwood's happy to be sending to the line. If they're going to have to foul someone, this might be the guy they want on the floor right now. Without a doubt. You know, DJ Wilson has played big, but not used to being in these situations where you're icing the game at the free throw line. Uh, he did hit a big three in Minnesota to put that game into overtime in the regular season. Uh, but obviously Michigan prefers to have Walton on the line. So big free throws by the young man DJ Wilson. So Dillard has fouled out and again Oklahoma State taking use of this time with the fouling out of the disqualification of Dillard to let his team know what it must do here once uh, if, if Wilson misses one of the two. Yeah, they got to set everything up on the fly and Wilson was good. He stayed at the top of the key. Didn't get a lot of guys get on the foul line and sort of ice themselves or tighten up. That looked good right there. Confident, took his time. Grant, you mentioned the 80% free throw shooters. He's one of them. It's amazing, this team. It's five for five in this game. This one would all but clinch it. Oh, wow. Evans, three point shot. Got it at the buzzer, but it's one short. Michigan advances.
And Bill, you talk about a team that has that special it quality, a team of destiny. We have watched them the last couple of weeks in Michigan playing great basketball, so much confidence. What a win for the Wolverines. The Wolverines make 11 out of 15 from three in the second half. And they advance to Sunday here in Indianapolis to take on the winner of Louisville and Jacksonville State. We thought this would be a tremendous game, and it certainly didn't disappoint. And Jim, we also knew the two guards would play their backs off. They certainly did. Tournament games continue live now on TNT, TBS, and True TV. Again, Jacksonville State Louisville is coming up. We'll send you to our studio for the Capital One Tournament Central after these messages. This is Capital One Tournament Central. And a minute on the game clock. Walt. Look at the strength of this kid. Woo! What a ticker. He has put this team on his back since the Big Ten Tournament. Derek Walton, one field goal in the first half, then goes for 19 of his 26 points in the second half. Michigan has won 11 of their last 13, and they survive a scare against Oklahoma State uh, here on Friday of the uh, NCAA tournament. Welcome, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Charles Barkley, Kenny the Jet Smith, and Clark Kellogg. You talked about it at halftime of this game. You talked about when stars know they're going up against stars, and sometimes yeah. you press. It took a while. But Derek Walton really showed himself in the second half. You know, it, it came down to Walton and Evans. Walton's probably been the best player in the country the last two weeks. He's been fantastic. And listen, when, Mich when Michigan started raining those threes, there was nothing you could do. Not just Walton, but there's like three or four guys. They just started raining threes, and they just went crazy. But, uh, but also, you just got to take your hat off to Michigan, man. What they've done the last week has been incredible. About... Kenny says this, and it drives me nuts. Okay. <laughs> but you're you, going to repeat it. It's a guard tournament. You know, I love the big kids, Swanigan Haas at Purdue, but big guys really, the, the seven years we've been doing this tournament, if you have elite guard play, you're going to advance in this tournament. And Mr. Walt is elite. And, uh, and Michigan's I, had elite guards before, and they've got advanced in the tournament because it's an eight-minute stretch, Ernie, as I was saying the other days. Eight-minute stretch is the guards will take over the game and create the pace that guys can play comfortable in. And you're able to do that. And because the, the shot clock is still a little bit longer, you still have an opportunity to decide to do something, bring it back out, and then. So it's all about decision-making on, on what you're going to do. And typically, the ball is in the, in the point guard's hand. But Walton did a great job not just um, getting him into a pace, but hitting tough shots. When he hit a couple tough shots, then it expanded the defense. It almost did what Steph Curry does for Golden State in the NBA. It makes everyone come a little bit further out, and now all those it passes... It's contagious lane. also. Yep, and, every, and then now it becomes easier to make those passes. Plus 27 in the three-point department for Michigan in this game. And you don't do that with just one guy. They had five guys that made multiple threes. So it's a team effort. They make nine a game on average, but they went through a stretch in that second half. They made 11 of 15 from behind the arc. A couple of them were challenged, but a lot of it was really high-quality offense. Credit to the Cowboys, though. They simply ran out of time because they were still scoring. They were, domi <laughs> they were dominating. They were dominating that last stretch. They dominated the glass the entire game. And Michigan had that surge, and they were able to ride that to the finish line despite missing a couple of free throws. Yeah. I, I got a question for you, Clark. Uh, you know, obviously the ACC, I think most people agree, is the best conference. I think the Pac-10 is probably the second best conference. You, uh, a Big Ten guy. Mm-hmm. I played in the Big Ten, and I follow all yeah. the conferences, but I am associated with the Big Ten. In my, so in my you think days. that the conference, you know, because I think when the first poll came out, I don't think they had any teams in there. Well, let me say this. Clearly, the ACC, top, middle, and bottom, was by a half lap the best conference in the country. Uh -huh. And then you could go Big 12, Big East, depending on what flavor you like. But when you get to this point, the only thing you do for your conference is carry your conference banner. Mm -hmm. That's it. It's teams playing against teams. So to me, the conference affiliation is nice to talk about, but it has no bearing on how you're going to perform based on the teams that you're going to face. No, but I, I mean... What that, was your question? Uh, I'm saying because, you know, you got the Pac-12 and AC, they got all the credit all year, and deservedly so. Do you think... No, it doesn't change anything. No, but I'm saying that you think your conference was underrated is my no, question. No, no, the conference was rated as it should be based on performance mm. 
over the course of the regular season. This yeah. is a reset for the teams that represent the conference. Okay. So that doesn't – the fact that the Big Ten was not a top five, top three or four conference consensus-wise is legit based on the regular season. And it's legit even if the Big Ten shows better in this turn. I don't know if it's legit. Well, that's your fault. That's Only your... because of this, because well, now we know that Michigan was a really good team. So if I've lost to them twice, now, I, before, they weren't as valued. And so maybe <laughs> I should have been valued more playing them. They, well, win, they win today by 192. That's what that would be one. Back out to Indianapolis. Tracy Wolfson caught off with Derek Walton Jr. Well, congratulations. You just continue to take this team on your shoulders and carry them through. During this game, they were trying to take away everything. For you, for this team, what did you guys talk about and what you needed to do to come away with this win down the stretch here? Uh, you know, they did a great job of taking us out of our sets in the first couple minutes of the game. They made us real, they was real disruptive. But, uh, you know, when we went to halftime, we said we need to calm down and settle down and just attack them. Um, you know, we do a, a lot of things to work on pressure release defense. Uh, but, no, like I said, credit to them, they did a, lot, a great job in the first half. But, you know, we was able to figure it out down the stretch. For you, was this a little extra personal challenge going against a point guard like Evans? Absolutely. Um, like I said, I, I, I shook his hand in the game. I said he's a hell of a, hell of a player. But, uh, you know, in, in my own guards, I think I'm a hell of a player too. So uh, it was all about me, you know, wanting to be the better point guard. And I thought the better point guard would win the game. And uh, my team helped me so much down the stretch. And, you know, uh, thanks to those guys. Well, congratulations. Go get some rest, and we'll see you on Sunday. All right, see you. Thank you. And that brings us to the Capital <laughs> One Venture Card Double Double of the Day where we highlight that man you just saw, Michigan's Derek Walton Jr., 26 points, 11 assists in the win, 19 of those points coming in the second half. And so now when you look at the Midwest region, Jacksonville State taking on Louisville with Michigan waiting for the winner. Nobody's playing better than the Michigan Wolverines in the country. Rhode Island would be in that group playing at a high level. There's some other teams you could throw in there. Duke clearly has played at an exceptional level of late. Um, SMU has been really good for a while. They're going to get tested. So quality of play now. And again, part of the tournament is guard play, experience, confidence, and then finding your rhythm for one game entities over the weekend. Now you get a chance, Michigan, to... Yeah. Or as, for the second. or as Kenny has liked to say, for the, for that eight-minute yeah. chunk right there where a eight game minutes. is going to swing one way or the other. And for Michigan, it swung their way today as they knock off Oklahoma State. Coming up on CBS, Jacksonville State, Ohio Valley champs taking on Louisville, a team with four Sweet 16 appearances since 2012. It comes your way next on CBS.